Hey everybody, welcome to Wild Woods Honey Farms. I'm Grayson. And today I wanted to get into this colony, this hive, and show you what's going on in this hive that I have. This was a nuke and I had transferred it to a 10 frame box. And it has been a while since I've gave you all an update on this exact hive. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I want to show you the brood pattern of this hive. The main thing I really want to get into is the brood pattern. And while we're in here talking about brood pattern, maybe I'll give you a couple tips on knowing if your queen has a good brood pattern. A lot of times beekeepers will overestimate their queen and first glance at the brood pattern they'll say, uh oh, that's not a good queen. While in reality, it's actually that a lot of the bees already hatched and some of them didn't hatch. That happens to me all the time. And I'm going to move this stack. This is a beetle blaster. It has a couple... Oh, look, be they're all, they're all, oh, I wish I smashed them, got them. Anyway, I was just trying to smash all these. Let's get in here. These are frames that are not drawn yet, and they're expanding in here. They at least got uh, five more, six, but I think they got about seven more frames to go. They already have, I mean, they have seven frames already full. They only have about three more frames, maybe even four more to go. They, they've drawn out a whole bunch of of Coleman here already because I've been feeding see they've drawn out just a little bit over here not a whole lot but hey a little bit is better than nothing I must say that this is just a frame of drawn comb I probably I want to probably move this into the uh, brood nest this will give the queen more area to lay I'll just leave it on the outskirts for the time being and here's where all the activity is we don't got nothing much on this frame, nothing really much going on here. This frame is packed full of bees, seems like. And this queen, this queen is, uh, I really like her. She does a really good job in her, uh, genetics. Oh man, they're, they're good. Like, everything is where I want it to be. Not too spicy. Not too mean. Oh man, look at all that nectar. That's all that, that's, that right there is all that, uh, food I just gave them, and they're, packing it in. You see that little brood right there? You got a little on the top there. Really nice. That frame's heavy. This frame's just a honey frame. And, uh, um, feels like I got something on the leg over here. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Who knows? I'm on time budget right now. Because we got some plans today. This Today is July 1st. 4th of July is coming up. Oh man, look at that! With all that food I'm giving them, they are drawing this stuff out. And look there, there's our queen. You see that queen right there? That is a beautiful queen. And she's laying this brood up. You see that? that that's a beautiful brood pattern. Just wait till you see some more here soon. We're, we're still getting into the hive. We ain't, we ain't fully into this hive just yet. I see more foundation in here that's drawn out and full of brood. So. Once all this brood hatches, this hive will be booming. And this is heavy, but look at all that brood. So the middle is full of eggs, and the outskirts are bees that are hatching. And look at this side, look at that. That is beautiful. I went in here once, and see those middle bees? Those are bees that already hatched. Like this right here. These already hatched. These are older bees, so they're going to be hatching here soon. Beautiful frame, I must say. It's really, really good. I'm glad that this hive is doing so well. That's why I'm going to try to prevent this hive from getting robbed any. You know what I mean? Like, we've been having those problems with raw. I had a hive that got robbed. That's why I got a, a entrance reducer on here just to kind of help them if they do need to defend their hive, they can defend it. Look at that. They, they're filling that up with nectar, of course. And if they, if they get honey bound, what I'll do is I'll set a frame out in this bee yard and let them rob it. You know what I mean? It's not that big of a deal. It's at least helping them to draw frames out. I must say that. It's helping them draw frames out. Alright. Let's see what's going on with this frame. This is a frame that I kind of swished over here. Look at that. They're drawing it out a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful. Not bad, not bad. Drawing it out just a little bit. Alright, this is pretty much the last frame that we have. 
And from the looks of it, I don't. They, they are almost, they're filling. They're filling this stuff up. Man, look at all these hot beetles. Oh, I'm a smash. Good, got him. Oh man, I've been having a beetle problem, that's for sure. Alright, let me get... I think, I, I don't know if I pulled this frame up just yet, but we'll pull it up anyway, even if I've pulled it up so far. And look at that bird pattern! Look at that. If you guys can see, uh, alright, if not all the bees not covering it. Look at all that brood. That's hatching brood, it's hatching. There's a queen cub, I don't know why that's there. And that was not a queen cup I put in here. I must have accidentally put it in here. Maybe it dropped in here and then they just decided to propolis or wax it. And look at this side. Oh man, this queen. This queen will keep... I think this queen's going to last me a good, solid couple of years before they, we have to replace her. Alright. Well, that's all for today. We were able to get into this hive. Do a couple things. And I, and I do want to say that Whenever you're looking for a good queen, make sure she has a good laying pattern. I'm going to give you guys a couple tips, and this is my main tip. Don't focus on just one frame to determine if your queen has a bad brood pattern. A lot of times, new beekeepers or beekeepers who just don't remember, they'll go in here and lift up one frame, and they'll see it looks spotty, and they don't like it, and then they end up killing the queen, then they go back and say, uh-oh, this was a mistake because there's another frame. That was perfectly full of brood, and the reason why that frame was spotty was because a lot of the bees already hatched in the middle, and some of the outskirts did not hatch yet. So don't make that mistake, and it's just one important thing to think about before you kill your queen. Make sure to uh, check all the frames and see her brood pattern. If all of them seem like her brood pattern's real small and she's not laying good, then there you go, you can replace her. But if she's doing a real good job in there and she's laying up the frame full of brood, and you're just focusing on one frame, make sure to focus on all frames. That's really important. So then you don't sacrifice a queen that was actually really good. And whenever I also, whenever you're trying to replace your queens, when I'm going to give y'all what I like to do. I always will kill, if I want to replace a queen, it's either because she has a brood, bad brood pattern. That, that's pretty much it. If it's bad temperament, I can usually deal with high temperament. If it was an Africanized hive, let's just say, which we don't see any Af Africanized hives down here, but if it was, I would have killed the queen right, a right away. But if it's just one of my Russian queens, I really like Russians. They just do a good job at making honey, and they do a good job at a lot of things, drawing comb. They build up good. They do a good job, and that's why I really like them. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, go ahead and give the sm smash the thumbs up button. That would help this video get out to more beekeepers. We'll catch you guys on the next beekeeping video.